Aha! All right, awesome. She's fat. Such a beautiful snake. Yes, you are. You're a beautiful snake. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Space Lizard Exotics. Look who I'm hanging out with, this gorgeous little gem. It's my Crested Gecko Winona. She's awesome. We're hanging out, planning our day out today. But before we get started, take a bite of that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, that way you can stay up to date with all of our amazing videos that we do weekly, as well as please, please hit us up on social media. I'm on TikTok and Instagram. We have a lot of fun little videos of these awesome little creatures. Let's get started on today's video and let's have a rad wonderful day, you amazing humans. All right, so I did take her out today, like we do every day here at Space Lizard Exotics. Do your Crescent Gecko thing. Anyway, we're gonna get her back in there and talk about some things. But I did want to point out, see what we did here? Oh, name tags on the enclosure, super cool. So we're gonna just put her back in there. Yep, do your thing, honey. Okay, do your thing. Be wonderful. Yep, okay. I did want to show up some of these plants in here though. I know obviously this one's fake. She does love it though, that's why I keep it in there. She likes to hide in it. And these plants, once they get larger, I could kind of take these out because then she could actually just hide under the real plants. These are way more beneficial for the enclosure, smells better, all that jazz. So let's talk about some other fun things today. You want to see some kind of rad that we got? You ready for this? Look at the spider wood. I thought it was cool looking. I'm a sucker for pieces of wood. Who's a lucky lady? It's Estrella. Yes, that is. We finally named the snake. I don't know if you have been keeping up with the videos, but if you haven't yet, that's why you gotta hit that bell notification. Stay up to date with them. And I did want to give a shout out to, to In Inquiline. It, he is awesome. He runs his YouTube channel as well as social medias. He won the name competition. So he named this snake for us at Space Lizard Exotics. Thank you so much for doing that, super rad. I appreciate you. So let's make some adjustments, get her out, and uh, she's gonna be super happy. I'm probably not gonna be able to fit that Buddha in there anymore, but whatever. I think I measured this right. Um, if not, we're gonna find out, aren't we? Yes, yes we are. And look at the pretty gal, look at the little, she's peeking, she's peeking out. Cool, all right, way more. Perches means happier green tree python or a tree boa. They need options in life. It's like, imagine going to Starbucks and they're like, all right, we got black coffee, here's coffee and creamer. What about my white chocolate milk? What about my iced blonde vanilla latte? And they're like, no, you get two options. It's like the same thing with perches. They want different options. Worst example in the world, oh my God. Got Estrella here, she's awesome. So, like I said, Inkwaline, thank you so much for naming this amazing snake for us here at Space Lizard Exotics. If you haven't checked out his stuff too, go check it out, give him, give him a shout out. It's always fun to say hey to people, you know what I'm saying? All right. So she's actually gonna be a little difficult to get off and fit my spectacles here. My hand's the tree, my hand's the tree now. Aha, all right, awesome. Finally got this beautiful, amazing gal out. So before I put this amazing, beautiful gem up, let's just hang out with her for a minute. Let's talk about green tree pythons and all that jazz. Sarongs and Arus are gonna be the most docile out of green trees. We've talked about this in the videos. If you don't know that yet, you gotta hit subscribe. Hit that subscribe button now. So anyway, um, Sarongs and Arus have just always been my favorite as far as the green trees go. Biox, they're little Oh my gosh. Act up, man. They're always nippy. They're beautiful snakes, but I just like, I don't know, you could get way more of a beautiful snake, I feel, with a sarong. You can tame out Beox, but it's kind of hard. Um, and most of the time, they're just like, they're just not having it. It still takes a lot of work, so don't just expect just buying one. You're just gonna have this, a very sweetheart snake. It doesn't happen like that all the time. When I first got her, she always hissed at me, and she would always get in striking position. Now, obviously, you could tell. She's chill, she's awesome. So it just takes a lot of work and socializing and enrichment with the snakes and making sure that they trust you. Even if it does take some time, you know, going into the enclosure every day, putting your hand in there, touching it, petting him, um, making sure that they know it's you and making sure that they know the difference between like, hey, is this is feeding time or is this like taking me out and playing with me time. She will only eat live. Oh my gosh, and like it's super weird too because she refuses thought, like will not, won't even ground with it. Now, my Emerald Tree Boa, she eats live right now too. I have not, oh, 
for her thought. Yeah, so we're gonna try that later on and see how that works. Hell is just like you offer her food and it's like instant strike position and gone. Um, that's most of the time what green tree pythons do. That's that's normal. Caught me back a little bit when I did see her do that just because I'm so used to Hella, how she eats and how my other green tree pythons in the past have eaten. Never had one like this before. It's super crazy, but nevertheless, she's awesome. Love hanging out with her and she's beautiful. I figured this would be kind of cool for her too because she does have the like optional branches and things like that. Come on, go ahead. Go explore, baby. So she has more options to go explore and then she also has more options while she's hunting so she could actually do the perk thing. And just stop her. Distract down. She probably won't though. She'll just pin down the thing and pin down the dang rodent and just kill it slowly. But she's awesome. A pre dental tail. A lot more room for her to kind of mess around on and three very sturdy perches for her. Um, yeah, I think she's gonna dig it. What do you think of the new branch? I figured it's cool. We are gonna be updating her enclosure very soon though. I'm trying to get a tall one of those skyscrapers. I think those are rad. The skyscrapers are basically what we have for this wonderful emerald tree boa. Speaking of that, we finally named the emerald tree boa. <laughs> figured I'd name it an epic name. Marduk. It's a black metal band as well as a ancient Sumerian god. So two rad things. Super cool. I think you have to have an epic name for such an epic snake like that. Just epic all around. We're going to be doing some videos on Marduk here soon. And we haven't quite named this one yet. She's very alert and super defensive. Super defensive. I'm actually just going to be doing a video on her alone here shortly. So keep up to date with the Space Lizard Exotics page, hit that subscribe button, that way you get to stay up to date when I do an actual full video on this little sassy pants. Hope everyone had a rad day today. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Hope everyone's doing well. We will see you all next time, and please hit us up on social media. Say what's up. I usually say hey back. I'll ride back. It's actually me saying hey. So just keep that in mind. I'm not, you know, just letting a robot do it. But thank you so much, everyone. Hope you're staying rad. We'll see you all next time, and stay awesome.